What is up YouTube? Bobbles and Ball Cards back with another video. I hope your week has started out well. And I hope everybody is having a wonderful Tuesday. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell. And as always, comment down below and let me know your thoughts. So, there's been a lot of things coming out uh, recently. Um, it seems like, you know, there's always something, but it does kind of feel like maybe there's more and more things coming out right now, um, which can happen sometimes, um, and it's unfortunate, but at the same time, you know, we all know how this works. Anytime, it, it, and this isn't just like uh, exclusive to sports cards, anytime there is some kind of monetary value involved with something there's going to be you know bad things happen there's going to be people trying to find ways to um come out on top whether it be counterfeiting um altering you know bsing you know it it brings out the truth among many things and you find many snakes in the weeds is a great way to call it um people are going to find a way to capitalize take advantage of people etc and there's been many examples of that come up once again there's obviously um you know the trimming thing that's something that has happened for many 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 years um it's unfortunate, but it happens. There's other alterations that take place as well. Um, you have Breakout Cards did his video about the guy that sold a crap ton of fake Tiffany Ken Griffey Jr. cards. Um, what else has there been? Uh, th there's been several things recently. And the biggest concern with this when all of this happens mostly is... When something like this happens, one person's going to benefit and several people are going to be screwed. And the person that benefits, they obviously don't care because they're doing it for profits and profits only. So, you know, if they're making money on it, they don't really care. The person that gets screwed, well, then they're usually out of money and they're the ones that kind of get, as the term goes, left holding the bag. And those are the people that get discouraged. They realize just how much goes on into like the hobby itself, sports cards and you know collectibles hobbies. There's so many things that are unknown. Like there's so much behind the scenes garbage, whether it's shilling, whether it's price manipulation, whether it is, um, you know, scamming people, um, uh, counterfeits, alterations, fake slabs, fake cards, like, there's so much stuff out there. Fake autographs, which is what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, just so much out there that you have to protect yourself on, and I think the best thing we as a community can do those that want to see this hobby thrive because we do enjoy it as much as it sucks about talking about the negativity we have to because it's the only way to get things out in the open it's only it's the only way to help try to educate people to maybe refrain from hopefully making a mistake um I would say at some point, most all of us are going to make a mistake one way or the other. We're going to get taken advantage in one way or the other. Um, but anyway, the more we, we share, the more we give advice, the more we talk about things, hopefully the more it can help others. So today I'm going to share this only because this came about um, and I noticed it and I thought it was something good to share with people. So I, I seen this card a few days ago it was on auction um, it ended last night and the price of it was roughly a hundred dollars and 
What this is, is a 90, 97 Skybox Kobe Bryant. It says it's hand signed with a certificate of authenticity. So the first thing to note, it's just a regular card. It's had the autograph added. And if you look there in that corner, there's an embossment. And it's by a company called Scoreboard. And the history of Scoreboard, it was ran, owned by Ken Golden. Um, and they did have autograph stuff out there. But there has been known to be many, many, many counterfeits out there as well, bearing the scoreboard emblem. Um, so here is the certificate of authenticity. And something to note with this is just a simple piece of paper. It's easily counterfeited. It could be, you know, printed, copied, whatever. Um, and you can make many 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 copies of this there is nothing to actually attach this piece of paper to this card uh, but it caught my eye because you know i would think with the embossment and this is something that can trick people you would think that that would make it legitimate however um i don't know the full scale details on it but i believe some of these uh little embosser things are out in the open hands and people are using them to counterfeit cards so that was something I, I dug into a little bit I did not bid on this at all um, I just kept it up so I had the seller saved because I found out some more details um, and this is why I wanted to share this because looking at this you know you might say well it has a COA Ken Golden did have Kobe signed for him so that's a positive it has the embossment. That's a positive. Uh, the seller, something we always go off of, the seller has great feedback. He has 1654, 100%. Okay, this seems like it's a good buy, right? 183 bucks, I can get a Kobe Auto. Boom. Reputable seller, all in the money, right? Well, I decided to go a little bit deeper and I went to seller's other items. And this is where red flags fly. You have this guy selling many, many Kobe autos. All right, all hand signed with COA, blah, 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 garbage, right? Different certificates. Um, you know, there's another one. There's one. Uh, here is Phil Necro. He started doing Phil Necro autos, I guess. Um, so that was a clear key sign that something's not right. So I went to sold, and here's where things get even worse. Kobe, 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 Kobe. I, I'll just keep scrolling. Non-stop Kobe Bryant autographs. All allegedly hand-signed with COAs. Here's Kobe and Kevin Garnett. Kobe and Shaq, just Kobe, 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 Kobe. Like, it, it never ends. Um, you can kind of tell the autograph. Now, granted, Kobe's auto does change over time, but you can kind of tell the autographs, they're not consistent. Um, yeah, just lots of Kobe, 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 Kobe. Um, I did a rough total on this. There were some that were like a buy it now best offer. I did not dig in to see exactly what those values were. Um, but I did lower them since it was an offer normally by a couple hundred bucks. And I still came up to almost $10,000 in Kobe Bryant autographs. Like here's one, it's just 550. And here's another key. So like this here was February 25th and it says... Buy now, best offer, right? But then if you go out from his sold, he has another one listed. So one thing, you're, you're it, it's tough to teach someone or help someone when people are on trying to buy and there's so many people out here scamming. This guy... To be quite honest, this guy, and I'll tell you, the guy that Breakout Cards spoke on with the Griffey Tiffany's, someone should have questioned that long before that man sold that many cards. Because my first thought when I seen it 
why did this dude only have Griffey, Tiffany's? How did he have so many of them? And then, like, why weren't there other players? Why wasn't there any other player? You know, he was selling Griffey, and, and he had so many of them. These are things that people need to realize and not be fooled by. You know, this particular instance, this is a clear red flag. This dude's got loads and loads and loads of Kobe autos with different little generic certificate of authentic, you know, authenticities. There's no UDA autographs. There's no Kobe Bryant with the Mamba 24 authenticity on it. It's all hand signed with generic ass certificate of authenticities. But what blows my mind is like 12 bids, 9 bids, 19 bids, 13 bids, 4 bids, 14 bids. Like, people are bidding on this stuff. And all you have to do is go and look and see how many others he sold. Do people really believe they're getting Kobe Bryant autos this cheap? If they do, then there's serious, serious trouble out there. That's why people are winding up with fake Jordans and fake slabs and everything else. Something to realize in this hobby, a scammer is going to pass along many copies of something cheap before they're going to pass along copies of something expensive. It's going to be much easier to move out of cheap stuff people can afford it it's not going to draw red flags um it's, you know it, it's like passing along 20 dollar bills that are fake is much easier than trying to pass along 100 dollar bills that are fake they're going to be less noticed okay so that's something to keep in mind um but what it does is allows them to build up off of many many transactions and get to ten thousand dollars it's easier to sell you know these hundred two hundred dollar kobe autos to get to ten thousand dollars than it would be to pass along one fake at ten thousand dollars so that's another thing you got to keep in mind but this is the kind of stuff and the reasons that all these fake jordans and fake kobe's and fake slabs and fake mahomes and fake brady's and all this other stuff fake mantles um there's so much out there so much there's alterations it's just I can't even sit here and do a video. But Breakout Cards has a book, you know, Spotting Fakes. There's so much out there, you cannot explain it all in one video. I could sit here all day long. I don't even know everything to explain to you guys. What I did know is I spotted this. I wanted to share it. I hope this helps folks out. Do not buy from this seller. Um, Ar Arkham98, I think is what it is. Um be more attentive when you're purchasing don't just look at something and say oh that's a great deal uh, if it's too good to be true the odds are it's not true um so yeah i hope you i hope this helps folks out um if you ever have any questions about something feel free to reach out and i will do my best to help you if i can't help you i know plenty of people in this hobby and someone most likely will be able to help you so um, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy. And until the next video, I'm out.